Continuing coverage of an incident that occurred at Ernie Davis Academy in Elmira yesterday, a viral video shows a student being body slammed right to the concrete outside of the school. And as a result, tonight's school board meeting was packed with concerned parents and citizens. WENY's Isabel Garcia attended the school board session and has the latest details. The focus of the school board meeting was supposed to be on the budget report for the upcoming school year. Those who attended had other topics in mind. I don't think that bullying is the same anymore. These are crimes. These are violent, violent crimes against humanity. Amen. The public meeting generated a crowd of hundreds, made up of parents, students, teachers, coaches, and other community members, all voicing strong concern surrounding school safety. These students aren't safe in this school at all. Um, and how does that make you feel as a parent? Scared. Scared. Every day I think, what's going to happen today? What, what can happen today? And what happened yesterday just proved that it's not safe at all and something needs to be done. Christine Phillips is a student who was involved in one of the recent fights and shared her story at the board meeting. She explained the video which surfaced online didn't tell the whole story. Once I got on the bus, not even five minutes onto the ride, she attacked me. So all I did was defend myself. And on the video that it shows on the website that it's put up, the bully website, it looks like I'm the big old bully because it doesn't show her attacking me. So I'm getting in trouble and I could get kicked off the track team for defending myself, which I don't think is right. Superintendent Hillary Austin issued a letter to parents and guardians addressing the three recent incidents at various schools, stating all students involved are facing significant disciplinary action. She adds the school district is currently working to reassess the supervisory plans. The next school board meeting is set to take place April 22nd. In Elmira, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.